here are some vegetables to making a fish stock. So you needed to take some uh, scraps of fish and some of these vegetables, bay leaves, onions, peppercorn, celery. Okay, and we put everything here with some scraps of fish. Some cold water, creating a fish stock, okay? If you don't want to use this, you can actually use some clam juice or vegetable stock. The fish stock is ready, it's well seasoned, and it's ready to go. Here are all the ingredients for the zuppa di pesce. Mussels, clams, garlic, parsley, whatever fish you like, calamari, uh, grouper, monkfish, swordfish, basically any, any, any fish that you like, okay? Shrimps as well, okay? And uh, extra virgin olive oil. And if you do red, with a tomato passata, Marcello's tomato passata. Okay, so we put extra virgin olive oil. Some more garlic. <laughs> Okay, we let the garlic get in nice and golden. And we add in the clam. We're gonna shut it off. We're gonna shut it off the clam. And we add the mask. Make sure you do all this with no flame. You add white wine. And now you put the flame back on. And you want all this to be steamy. You can also put a cover on. I'm adding some fish stock. Some red pepper, a little bit of oregano, some tomato passata. We're mixing everything nicely. We're adding a little bit more of a fish stock. Okay, I'm adding all the fish. Okay. I'm poaching the zuppa on a low flame for maybe 10 minutes. The zuppa is almost ready. And on the last minute, we're going to add some shrimps and a little bit of a parsley. Okay, and basically the zuppa is ready. The shrimps will take only 30 seconds to cook. We're going to grill some bread and we can position all the bread around the zuppa. We can position all the bread around the zuppa. We can put this in the middle of the table and enjoying a beautiful zuppa di pesce. If you, can, if you like to serve this with pasta, linguini, spaghetti is a good combination. Buon appetito!